Good morning everyone, Crafty Mama here with my daughter and today we're going to show you how to make your own photo memorabilia display boards to hang on the walls of your room. The reason we decided to do this is because we're in the process of making over Emily's room in a project with Walmart and rather than buy the ones that they had in the store since we are the crafty house we decided to make our own so that they could be the way that we wanted them to be. And we were able to do it rather inexpensively and I will give you the breakdown of how much the supplies all costs below the post here. Um, so I'm going to start by showing you what it is that we bought to make our board and then we'll show you how to do it. First you need to buy foam display boards. We found these at Walmart in a package like this. There are two in the package so you're able to make two boards out of this package. You also need to get fabric that you're going to cover your board with um, and you need to cut the fabric to the size of the foam board about an extra inch and a half all the way around each side so that there's a, you're able to fold it over. And what we did rather than go and buy fabric to try to match what we were doing we actually bought an extra curtain that matched the room that we're making from the Your Zone collection and we cut the curtain apart to make the boards and actually ended up with a little bit extra that we're going to be able to make some pillows or something with also. Then you need to get a piece of plain poster board cut to the size of the foam board that will be used to cover up the back to hide all of the edges and everything. You will need some batting that we purchased by the yard at Joanne Fabrics and I'm not sure how thick it is. It's maybe about three-eighths of an inch thick. It's not very thick at all, but that just gives you the little bit of padding for the board. You will need to get ribbon that matches the fabric that you've decided to use, and you will need six strips of ribbon approximately 21 inches long and one strip that's approximately 10 inches long that will be used for the hanger. And then you will need to buy twist pins. And we found these at Walmart in the sewing section with the other pins and things. And what they are is just, some people call them upholstery pins. They've got a plastic head on them and kind of like a corkscrew pin at the bottom so we can screw those into the board to hold things in place. So that's everything that you're going to need. And what you do is you'll start by laying out your fabric on the table. And then you, on top of the fabric, you will lay your, yes, make sure you have the right side, of the right side of the fabric that you want to see facing down on the table. Then you'll place the batting on top of the fabric. And then you'll take the foam board and put that on top of everything else. And then we're using a hot glue gun. Um, you can also use tacky glue. I like to use a hot glue gun because it dries faster. It's much quicker than waiting for everything to dry. So we're going to take the glue gun and we're going to go all the way around the edges of the board. And we're going to put glue all the way around the edge. And then we're going to fold the fabric up around to glue it into place. Okay, what you want to do first is you want to take the glue along the edge and you're going to put the glue from the glue gun along the edge. And when you're using a glue gun, you need to just do small pieces at a time so that you can get the stuff into place before the glue dries. So once you put the glue down the side, first you want to glue the batting onto the board. So you're gonna, when you're doing it, you need to make sure you're pulling it and stretching it so that you don't have any sags on the other side. And once you've gone all the way around gluing the batting all the way around, you're gonna go put another strip of glue on top of the batting and you're going to pull the fabric up over the edge and glue it into place. And like I said before, make sure you're pulling the fabric as you do it and stretching it so that you don't have any puckers on the other side when it's all finished. Okay, now once you have your edges all glued all the way around, you see we've got the front of the board covered now, you do the strings next. And you're gonna start in the corner and you're going to put a little bit of glue on the back of the board in the corner. And you're going to lay your ribbon on there. OK, 
careful because the glue is really hot. Trying not to burn myself. And you flip the board over. And then you're going to pull the ribbon diagonally. Almost to the center. We're kind of too close here. Mm. Of the board. And you can see the diagonal pattern. And flip the board over. And glue the ribbon. And you're going to do the same thing from the other corner. And you don't want them to meet down at the bottom. You just want them to be like that. Then once you have that one in place, you're going to do one more. Just flip that one to the side, Emily, and show which way it's going to be. Going diagonal this way in the center. Okay, once you have the first three ribbons in place and glued, you're going to take the last three ribbons and make X's across the first three ribbons that you put into place. You're going to glue these ribbons into place just as you did the first three. Okay, once you have all of your ribbons glued in place with your X's on the front, you're going to take your 10 inch piece of ribbon and we're going to glue that to the back of the board to use as a hanger to hang on the wall. So you want to find the center of the board, the side that you would like it to be. And you're going to put a dab of hot glue in the center. And just glue your ribbon in place. And you want to make sure you put a really a good bit of glue here so that it does hold in place once you hang it up. And after you have that in place, you're going to take your glue gun and you're going to go all the way around the outside of your board at the edges of the board, not at the edges of the fabric. And then you're going to take your piece of white poster board and place that on the back of your board to hide all of the edges of all of the fabric. You're going to glue that in place all the way around. Okay, once you've glued the backing poster board all the way around the back of your board to hide all of those uneven edges, you're going to flip it over and you're going to take a look at your ribbons. You're going to straighten out your X's and you're going to make sure they cross where you'd like them to cross. And once you have them all straightened out, you're going to take one of the twist pins. Let's show that pin up close so everybody sees what that looks like. See, that's what the twist pin looks like and you're going to put that through where the ribbons cross and you're going to twist it through the ribbon, through the fabric, through the batting and down into the board and you want to make sure you're twisting it into the board so that it stays nice and snug in place and you're going to do that where all three ribbons cross oh, I forget which one is. and once you have your pins all in place you will have your finished product your display memory board made by you that matches your room. You know, hold that up for us, Emily. There you go. If you guys have any questions, let us know. I hope you enjoyed our video. We can't wait to show you the room when we're all finished with it. Bye-bye.